The tragedy of life is not that it ends so soon, but that we wait so long to begin it. Unknown, but possibly W.M. Lewis. No! Sleep! Till Bitcoin! No! Sleep! Till Bitcoin! I'm going to be a little serious today. So I apologize. I'll I'll put a link to a funnier video, I guess. So you can click there. Click. I don't know, click here. Go ahead and yeah, you're gonna want to click off of this if you if you're not looking to, for a serious video. Because uh, this is probably gonna get a little heavy. So just go ahead and click right there. Come back to it later. Just avoid this one. Whatever. My dad's best friend died yesterday. Um, he was working on a lawnmower. He had it strung up to work on it. Uh, the the rope broke and it fell on him and knocked him in the head and I'm sure died instantly. This has gotten me thinking uh, the past two days. I've really been thinking about mortality and you know, what that means. I think I think to a degree you always do that when somebody you know dies, but it's been in my mind for a while because I realized a while back how much of my life I'd wasted either planning to do things and just never getting to the point of actually doing them or just wasting time. And I don't know, this this particular instance has just made me think like how limited our time really is and I just I don't know I just I feel like at least for me I should be doing more don't ever save anything for a special occasion being alive is the special occasion unknown I wrote a bucket list like beginning of last year and I've crossed a couple things off of it but not much and so I really think it's time to really get started and work on that because who knows how much more time that you know any of us are going to have and I don't want to leave things unfinished I think that is my greatest fear as far as having a fear of death that is my fear when it comes to dying is living an unfinished life that when I die I'm going to look back and think of all the shit that I could have done all the things I should have done let us endeavor to live so that when we come to die even the undertaker is sorry Mark Twain I don't know I don't I don't know what my point really is um just I guess that you know, our time is so short that we really should just spend all of our lives, as much of our lives as we can, just doing what we want to do. Like, one thing I really want to do is actually make these videos and talk to you guys. I, that's a, it's the highlight of my day when I see that people are watching my video and that they've left comments that I can respond to. And then to go in and watch other people's videos and leave comments and have that conversation. Um, that's, that's why I do this. Because I like this. I like this, this dialogue. They say for every death, there is also a birth. That's the circle of life. And I do believe that's true because... Even though my dad's friend is no longer with us, Shay Carl and Katie Lett have just had a baby. The circle continues. I think I should say that, you know, I love all of you out there who are a part of this kind of journey that we're taking. Just, just be well and be kind to one another. Present your family and friends with their eulogies now. They won't be able to hear how much you loved and appreciate them from inside their coffin. Anonymous. I'll see you tomorrow.